So the TV I'm working on here is a Sharp. There's a model number. This TV came in here with this symptom. On the uh, plastic bevel here, you've got a flashing LED that seems to flash in almost like a Morse code, a dot and a dash over and over. And that Sharp logo you see there, that's, uh, that's on the plastic bevel. The display itself won't turn on. You can push your, go ahead and push your power button on the side here and nothing happens. And, uh, well, the first thing I did was I started checking the voltages on the power supply. And everything was pretty much dead, whether you push the power button or not, except for the 5-volt standby voltage coming off this harness right here. They don't call it 5-volt standby, though. They call it the 5-volt bus. And that was the only active voltage. So the... Uh, what I figured it was, I figured it probably probably a mainboard issue. When you can push the power button and, and you don't hear any change on the power supply at all, that often means you've got some kind of a mainboard issue. Well, I was about to go online and check out what it would cost for a, a new mainboard, and I decided to look through Mike's TV case histories. For those of you that don't know, Mike Danish publishes a Every year he publishes a book on TV repair tips given by, I think it's right now it's about 70 other contributing television repairmen. And they record all their service tips. And sometimes these tips are just so invaluable. And uh, I didn't find this exact TV in his book, but what I did find were similar models. And they mentioned a reset procedure where you push the, what was it? They said something about pushing the menu button. Or not the menu button, you're supposed to push the input button and the volume down at the same time while plugging in the AC cord and that reset it and sure enough I tried it and it worked in fact uh, let me pause this camera for a second I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna push the input volume down plug it in and as you can see after doing that we've got a solid uh, LED there <clears throat> now when you look at this display you'll notice you're not getting your normal menu that you would get. What you get is a K followed by these numbers right here, which is the model number of the TV. It's not <clears throat> until you turn it off again and turn it back on that you'll get your normal display. And I'll give this a second to boot up here. I'll show you what I mean by normal display. What I mean is, you, here we've got our HDMI logo on top, letting me know I'm on HDMI 2, I guess. So right now everything is normal, but here's the funny thing. I can turn the TV off, turn it back on, everything's fine, but if I so much as unplug the cord here, this thing goes back to the flashing mode. And so I went ahead and I called my customer on this one. I said, look, I can try to repair or get you a new mainboard, or a new salvage mainboard most likely. Or I can just give it to you now and show you the reset procedure if there's a problem. And he liked the, the second option of just being able to reset it himself. But since I've got this thing going now, I thought I'd talk about some of the voltages I found on these different harnesses on the power supply board. In case you happen to be working on one of these TVs and you want to know what the voltages should be when it's working. So here we're looking at this one harness right here. And this goes to the main board. And I recorded all the voltages. And uh, here we've got 12.1, 0, 13.5. Let me move that camera a little closer. I don't have to tell you what they all are. You can see it right here. The only one that stays 5 volts all the time, whether the TV's off or on, is looks like pin number 8 here. They called it the 5 volt bus. And on the other side here, on this harness here, these were all 0 until the TV was on. And there's the voltage that I recorded on this one right here, 60 volts, 13.5 and 1.9. <clears throat> and when the TV's off, nothing. So uh, just for reference, I thought it might be helpful to record some of that. Also, I measured, what was it, 403 volts across each of these capacitors here, 60 volts on these ones down here. Uh, moving on to the driver board, let me see, on one of these, I don't remember which capacitor, I measured 187 volts. And I think that was this one down here. And on this one, 
Oh, I believe it was 60 volts. One or the other. Anyway, just mentioning that for reference. And also, if you were to measure the output coming off the driver board, uh, on this side here, what did I measure? 187 volts between chassis ground and some of the inputs here. On, on eight of the pins on this one, I measured 187 volts. And uh, on this side here, the highest voltage I measured was 17.7. In fact, I wrote them all down here. 16.5, 17.70, 17.70, 17.7, as you can see. Anyway, again, that's just for, just for reference, in case you happen to be working on this model. I notice they don't list the voltages here, so that always makes it a little bit frustrating. And uh, I'm not sure if they do on this side or not. I'm not uh, using a magnifying glass at the time, but I don't, don't see any voltages. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, TV's going, and not in its original condition, but it's good enough. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.